Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Prison Architect Alpha 31 episode 6. In the previous episode we put some CCTV cameras in as well as many many other things. However that one is not powered up. So I think we'll resolve that by putting a bit of power to it. There we go, that should fix that problem. What we're going to be doing this episode is doubling our prisoner capacity. Currently we have 20 prisoners out of a maximum of 20. What I want to do is increase that to at least 40. So let us get on with that. So it's going to just be building the cell block. Uh, no, actually this is technically the entire cell block. We've just got several cells within it. Uh, I don't know if would you call it wings either because we, again, we haven't split these up. They are just one full thing. So, yeah, either way, we're, we're going to put some more cells in. Now, I'm just going to do the center bit first and then the little edgy bits. I'm doing it in a weird order, but I normally do that. There we go. This is all wall. Uh, there's been a couple of comments regarding uh, putting another, actually putting another cell block in. It's weird. I, I originally said that I want to do a quite low... Um, a low capacity type prison and you know I don't want more than say 50 and that's pretty much what we're, we're bang on 50 I mean, oh, we actually we'll actually will be 49 technically but um, yeah we're going to be getting around about that for that amount but uh, yeah it's something that I don't really want to go over any over and I think would just be a little bit too much but a lot of people have been saying we should expand and put in another block or even put in some more cells say like over over in here but this is the this is the um the death row which is something that obviously we uh, we want to keep separate and speaking of death row we are actually going to get or at least start to get death row which is going to take a day to actually get unlocked and then we could start building the death row facility because we want to get on with that at some point. Actually, I don't, know if, I don't know if want is the right word, but we have to get on with it at some point. Right, this is our couple of security areas. Uh, what I want to do is um, just make each one of them legitimate by putting in some chairs and tables and such. There we go. And we're doing it in the filing cabinet in here as well. Something like, I don't know. Shame this near the filing cabinet. Put it there. This security here, this is going to have um, probably our CCTV section for this area. But we'll see how it goes. Right. We're not receiving any more prisoners. Uh, we're actually making a massive loss, uh, which is quite worrying. We actually lose $2,590 a day, which is really problematic. Where's that guy going? Eaglebeak. I don't like the fact that you're just wandering around there, mate. I'm going to search you because you could be waiting for something to get flung in. In fact, I'm just going to uh, have a bit of a search. Let's see what happens. He's strong and tough, but he's got nothing on him. Looks like that's been aborted now. Looks like he has actually wandered off. I don't know if we've found anything with intelligence, so... so that was Spoon with thrown him back there. That one was uh, smuggled in. So we've only had a Spoon... Tom, owner Thomas Eaglebeak, and he was hanging around around that bottom bit as well. Hmm. That's an interesting one. What I've realised, actually... Uh, it can only, You can only get something if it's 10 off. One from the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About there. Right, hang on then. Because if I do this, <laughs> if I actually put in concrete wall like that, right? And then put a staff only door there. And then make that staff only. It means that I don't think, I actually don't think there's anywhere the prisoners can be to get stuff flung in. Where's that been? That would have been stolen. That's a mobile phone somewhere. There's a knife. There's the knife arranged. Yeah, so there's a knife arranged. That's an interesting one. Phone thrown in. Yeah, they're all getting thrown in right at the back there. And there's Eaglebeak trying to get through that door. Again, because that's been arranged. So we could wait. I like this. We could wait and say... 
yeah, 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 no problem. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait. I'm going to open that. I'm even going to open that door for him, right? And obviously, we know that that now has been thrown in. We, we know it's, got, it's been arranged to get thrown in. We, what we've done is we've picked that up on the phone, right? So, now, he should have that. So, I'm going to search prisoner because Eaglebeak should have that item, right? What happened is he must have either phoned it in or someone, you know, on the... During his conversation on the when he was using the phone, uh, it's been tapped. We've listened. We've listened into it via the uh, the phone tap, and we found out that he's arranged this to get flung in. And there you go. There's the knife. And now you're getting yourself some solitary. <laughs> Excellent. I like that. That's a system that just works, isn't it? What I'm going to do? I'm going to make that little extra area there, staff only, which now means that he can't get there. Um, this is uh, been actually. A bit of an interesting topic in the comments section. This one is where we've got the protective custody. However, I made a comment last episode about I haven't, I don't really differentiate between protective custody and max sec. What I meant by that is that I don't have, all, all I really want is a place to move people away. Right? So if there's a psychopath in here, if there's an absolute insane person you really don't want, um, out of their uh, out of their cell, you want to move them away. I don't care whether that's protective custody or high risk. I just want them away, and that's what these cells will be. So technically, these are actually max sec, right? So they're max sec. Actually, no, they're not max sec. Sorry, they are. They're not max sec. They are super max, right? There, there's a big difference. They are super max prisoners, and what will happen is if they go in themselves, we will literally just go shung, shut the door and call it a day. In fact, what I'll be doing, we'll be getting permanent punishments, which is five grand to get that. We will be getting permanent punishments, but I don't want to get that now because uh, that will uh, be a bit of a problem. We need to get a bit more money, and we're actually losing money, sort of hand over fist, which is. Uh, yeah, it's causing us a problem. And I don't know what the solution is, actually. I don't know what the solution is to uh, to make money because I can't keep taking in prisoners, right? That's the point. I can't take in prisoners. We could... Actually, one thing I want to do. Go to... I've just assigned a guard somewhere. Um, I've, assigned a gu I've assigned a guard in... Um in here, which we don't want. There we go. Uh, yes, yeah, so we just check our programs. And you got the bottom guard tears a certification. If I start that, yeah, there's no room. So the problem I have is that we don't have a classroom to teach, um, not just prisoners, but just teach in general for our staff and things like that. So I think I am going to put that in. So I'm just going to pause it for a second. We're going to go to classroom, designate all that as classroom. It's something that I did mention that I might put in here, but I wasn't sure. I'm still not overly uh, confident this is a good idea. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Actually, you know what? One, two, three, four. One, two. How can we put these in? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen. Uh, you know what that'll do? Fourteen. We don't need to max it out. We don't need to max it out. So, they'll crack on with that. Okay. So, there's the uh, classroom sorted. Right, we need to get ourselves some more cells, which is what this is all about. And this is going to cost me a lot of money. In fact, I would wager I don't have enough money to finish all of these, which is, eh, sadly, a bit of an issue for me. But we'll see how it goes. So, we're just placing all of the toilets in. I mean, the toilets alone are going to cost us two grand. Actually, uh, and now we're going to put this. Yeah, the money is the doors. It's two hundred each. But it means I can get twenty grand next uh, next time we receive prisoners. So that's uh, you know we got that going for us, which is good. Right. So small pipe. Run a small pipe straight along because we need to plumb all of these toilets in. In fact, it's weird that the we don't actually have Lecky in the centre. Look, that one is, uh, yeah, it's not actually got a bit of a problem there. That one, that one, this is the only one cell that's just out of range. So if we just place a couple more electrical cables, it'll sort that out. Right. 
Oh, I thought that that's a 20 of 25. I was thinking, hang on, how have I got 25 prisoners? No, I have 20 prisoners. I can have a maximum of 26. And obviously, that's only going to increase as we get more of this stuff in here. Right, deployment. Guard patrols. And we need to set some guard patrolage around here. Someone suggested I should put a, a dog right at the start of the... Uh, right at the entrance of this place. I'm not overly sure. I mean, I could put it around here, but, I mean, do I get on with that? I could put, I mean, I've got an armed guard walking around the place. Where else could I put it? See, if I put it around here, it's going to probably stop a lot of prisoners. It's going to slow people down. I'm not sure about that one. We'll see. Why is that one powered off? How can that be powered off? The electric, the electric cable's there. That's just starting to glitch right out, isn't it? That's just weird. Looks like when you connect it up manually, it doesn't work properly. Unless it's got power. Right. It is now 12 o'clock. Sleep time. Which means... We need to do a shakedown. We haven't yet done a shakedown uh, in the prison before. And I reckon Eagle Beak is up to something. So, obviously, this is going to uh, rise the... Uh, not the violence level of the prison, uh, of the prison, but it's going to increase the uh, the danger level. Except we found a lot of drugs and stuff stashed in the laundry, which is an interesting one because remember we don't. That's a saw and a was a saw and uh, some drugs that were stashed in the laundry and or, or in the laundry baskets, whatever. But remember we don't have prisoners working there, which is an interesting one. That's a thing. We haven't got prisoners working there. I haven't actually seen the. Uh, the janitors sorted. They take stuff there, the uniforms, but I haven't seen them. Uh, I haven't seen them place any clean uniforms. Let's have a quick look. If we go to our needs, clothing need is up actually, so we might have to start assigning people to the laundry, which is not good. We'll see what happens there. We'll have to see what happens. If so, that's going to open up a big. Uh, gap in the sort of prison. Anyway, I just need to check something. Deployment, yeah, that's all staff only. That office should be staff only. Visitation, no, that it's not staff only. And... Yeah, see, I want that security staff only, but not that one. They're all fine. Yeah, I think that's all sorted there, actually. Don't need designated as... Um, oh, I just realised that what I want to do is go to prisoners. Not intake, I always do that. It's because they changed the tabs. I added this tab. We're going to receive a total of 20 max sec prisoners. Uh, yeah, so. We, um. Yeah, we, we. Yeah, I, 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 on this area here, the security has uh, staff only because we'll have some monitors and other things in there. Whereas this one is where we can actually um, interrogate prisoners if we need to. So. We have a total of 34 cells completed. As you can see, uh, the. Looks like we still need to. Put some toilets in and other some other things, which is fine, I guess. Uh, we're still waiting for. I guess you know what we're not waiting for that. What they're waiting for is me to order it. I looks like I missed out missed out that entire row, so I will place it. There we go, and then that will give us forty cells in total, which means that we should really start cracking on with these cells here. Now, this is something that I've been, I've actually been, I've been delaying a little bit, that I, I didn't really want to um, get these cells up and running straight away. There we go. There's all of them cells. That's going to be, obviously, death row, which we will actually have unlocked in a bit. Oh, no, we won't, because I haven't actually hired an lawyer. There we go. I did, <laughs> I did, uh, <laughs> good grief, I did set the research and I built the room, but I didn't unlock it. Right, okay, so we've got a lot of prisoners turned up, 20 prisoners. We have Graham Tyson, mm, facing game, uh, torture, assault, violent disorder, mm, drunken and disorderly. Got uh, Dan Sexton, we'll put it at normal speed. Andrew uh, Hancock, we've got Ian Philipson, Tim Slater, uh, Scruffy Scruffington, <laughs> uh, Miko Phoenix, Simon Orb, I can't see it because uh, it's moving all the time, Simon, what is it, um, Oberichs, Oberichs, something like that, Sean King, there you go, Beardy Sean King, Vettel Brew, 
Scruffy Scruffington. Scruffy, the janitor Scruffington, age 59, used to work for a delivery company in New York. Killed everyone at the company when supervisor complained that he uh, reads too much porno magazines during work hours, favorite magazine, Zero G Jugs on National Pornographic, and he uh, did a bit of murder. Hmm. Interesting. Not that interesting. Violent. Right, I've forced these doors open here. I do need to get a road gate uh, opener. Uh, what about, not a road gate opener, but you know what I mean here. Uh, there's Alex Boyles, Luke Chaffee, Ian Lacey, and Dan Drummer. Uh, we need to get some uh, automatic door openers and such. We'll get on with that at some point. But anyway, we now have... <laughs> uh, 40 prisoners. Interesting. Looks like that has not a bed either, which is weird. Okay. There's that sorted. Let's force that door open for the workmen so they can actually get in there. Uh, uh, that, 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 that one. Tab. That one. There we go. Right. So. Are the janitors working in the laundry? One of the basket, A couple of the baskets is gone. So. Is any laundry getting done? Don't think so. Oh, found a, some sort of item on them there. What's that? A club brought in, spoon brought in, cigs brought in. That was an easy one. It's a bit weird, actually, that uh, as soon as they come here, they then get punished for, like, six hours or, or sorry, three hours? However long our policies are set to. Uh, they get put straight into uh, solitary, which is an interesting one. Yeah, there he is there. Found drugs and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his grading? 15%. That's not too bad. Right. So, one thing we need to check here. Intelligence. Informants. Tough and instigator. Strong, fearless. Fearless, strong, fearless. Skilled fighter. Okay. Um, I guess it's... Uh, we have to watch... It. We have to look out for a couple of people, but... I guess it's mainly the... Um, uh, we do have to watch out for a couple of them. But we ha do have our armed guard obviously suppressing them as well, which slows them down, so there is the negative of that. But uh, the positive being that they might not uh, be... Well, uh, they might just uh, think twice about, you know, going to stab someone in the face. Right. We've got 18 grand. What I'm going to try and do, we're going to get the... Actually, I've never really put a bed in the centre before. <laughs> might as well try it out. Toilet right next to your head, though, which is uh, interesting. Um, we, yeah, we're gonna get these cells up and running because it's about time. Oh, that's a weird one. That's the scheduler at the bottom there. That deployment scheduler, which we never really touched on. Right, this is going to be our death row area. So it's something that I want to get. There's a tunnel found. Oh, that could be legitimate as well. That one. That one could be real. Okay. Right, we need to take this one seriously here. That could be a real tunnel, that. And there's Eaglebeak there. He, I, ooh, Eaglebeak. He has been nicking spoons and other other things for a while. I'm going to search his cell. Because I think he might be tunneling. Just as a precaution, I'm going to search these cells as well. I, I have actually had a couple of uh, false... False... Um, not false positives, but false flags before over there. So I immediately just discounted them thinking, yeah, they're too far away. There's no way that's a real one. But we're going to search this cell here and see what we can find. Looks like we haven't found anything in Eagle Beak's cell. So I am going to dismantle that toilet. Actually, no, I'll wait until the rest has been searched. Looks like it's sorted. Let's dismantle that. I'm going to dismantle this entire row. People said you don't need to do it, but um, I have found that uh, it seems to work. So we're going to dismantle some of this. And we will see what we can find. I'll have a sip of beverage while waiting for these people to tell. Ah, today's beverage is a nice cup of tea. Right, where are the jan Where are the workers? They're too busy working. Oh my good grief! Death? Vettel Cyber Brew. He was a snitch and an ex-law enforcement. 
and I didn't spot him. And you know what the worst part is? I bet a couple of people watching did. Maybe even you. Uh, I'm going to get crucified in the comments for that. Oh, bugger it. There's nothing I can do. Right, so. That is the first death in this thing. I knew we were going to have one. I knew there was going to be something like that happening. But I didn't expect that. To be fair, I did a quick pass. Did I? I I'm sure. I, I, yeah. I don't know whether or not. See, ex-law enforcement, dead, right? I'm sure I checked that. That... I don't remember seeing that. Which either means that I wasn't perceptive enough and I just generally missed it, or that there, that guy's trait was not known to me at the time. Because obviously these ones here, these have traits. That guy could be ex-law enforcement for all I know. I don't know, because I don't know anything about their traits. So for all I know, they could have been um, ex-law enforcement. So, who knows? And, uh, I, well, I didn't know at the time. Who, I, I don't know. I don't know what, what, where the uh, fault lies. If, if fault, if there's any fault at all. Anyway. Either way, damage has been done. We've got a death in the prison. So I've actually expended the morgue. As you, can, as you saw there, I thought, yeah, I better put this morgue in. Right. So I'm going to keep... I'm just going to keep uh, cracking on here. Where are the workers and why are they taking so long to do things? Oh, they're placing power lines in all sorts up here. Still waiting to get that to get that sorted. So, Sean King, what's he just done? Uh, why is he in there? Murder. Oh, I'm going to recruit as an informant then. Tim, what's he been doing? Serious injury. All right. Okay. And this is bad that we don't have line of sight in this area. Should we really put a CCTV camera in it? You. Serious injury. Yep, serious injury. I'm just going to try and recruit informants here. Mm. <laughs> Scruffy Scruffington. Serious injury. Can't recruit as an informant, but Sean King we can. Hmm. So Sean King is now one of our informants. We only have one now, but uh, we do have an informant. So if I go intelligence, informants, you can see there is Sean King. Suspicion, very low, coverage 15%. But we need to um, wait. Obviously, we don't want to uh, activate him or anything like that. We'll let him, uh, you know, be around the prison for a while. Right. I have reordered the toilets. So... <laughs> We're now putting these toilets back in, so they're now uh, legitimate cells. There we go. So I can just see Paul Page come back. Yeah, I just need to go. I like, I'm busting for a wheeze. He's running back. Oh no, there's no toilets. And what are we gonna do? <laughs> Don't worry, we've got you covered. Right, I'm just going to go to our daily intake and change it to non, obviously, because uh, well, we don't want any prisoners in. What I do want to do is go to rooms and then cell and then designate all that as cell and then all that is cell and then we can put in some beds. So. How we're going to do this. I like... I think we'll have it... Something like that. And... There we go. Toilet in the corner. See, every time I come to these cells, I always go Silence of the Lambs. And I think of that scene with um, Anthony Hopkins in the uh, behind the glass... Uh, like, or plexiglass security sort of thing and uh, that sort of interview and I always think what does that look like what does that look like but um, yeah I for some reason feel like a bookshelf might be in order for this even though they'll never use it they will never use the bookshelf because it's uh, doesn't even exist as a, a thing I don't think you can use it at all I could put a large jail door in front of it there but yeah I'm gonna put a large jail door there <laughs> Just seems to uh, fit a bit better. There we go. And we'll put a television in. Because, remember, these don't ever leave the cells. And you know what? If they're on death row, yeah, you could judge, say, oh, well, you know, they've obviously must have done something really bad. I, I just don't want them booting off again. Death row prisoners, I'm, I'm assuming, because I've never had them yet in the prison, uh, I assume have a lot of uh, 
really bad traits, so I don't want them uh, booting off. What I do need to do is go to programs and go right down the bottom and go for guard taser certification and start that. We could go for general education, but nobody's interested. Carpentry, nobody bother. Kitchen health and safety. Most of these have gone right down, you see. Uh, I'm going to reschedule all the programs. We've got a parole hearing. We do a parole hearing, but obviously there's no real parole to uh, be had, uh, generally, um, at the moment because of, you know, how... Um, how long these prisoners have to serve, so, yeah. Right, large pipe, we need to run a large pipe straight up here, and then we need to connect these, um, things up with a small pipe. There we go, run it round. Like that. Don't think we need to go that far, but we'll just put it in. Good grief, I really need some automatic, um, door openers here. There we are. Uh, what I am going to do is start... I think I'll start some more deployment. Guard patrols. I'll have a guard patrol like that. There's a guard patrol. And an armed guard patrol will also be around here. And I think that's... Uh, I think the reasons are uh, pretty <laughs> self-explanatory. We, uh... Yeah, well, we don't want... I need couple more. Oh, one more. I think we need uh, armed guards around where the death row prisoners are. It just uh, it sort of makes sense, doesn't it? Right, so we currently have a couple of rooms that don't have purpose. Uh, this thing back here, uh, it doesn't really have a purpose all the way down here, so what I'll do, I'll probably change this one and have this as another room um, here, right? Have like something here. Right, so I'll have an entrance that side. This one, I think we'll have as a parole. And this one, we will have as the execution. Okay, that's what this one is for. So, how we're going to do this? Well, this will be parole, so I'll get on with that. I'll go to a concrete wall, and we'll concrete wall that off like so. This one as well, but I don't know... How to do this. I think I know what I want to do. Mm. Maybe a little bit bigger. Mm, I'm trying to think of the uh, the size of this room, you see. Mm, no, I think that's about right. Something like that. There we go. Okay, I'm uh, not going to explain that, I'm just going to leave it, because we'll come to that later on. Most people have probably already guessed it, maybe yourself included, but uh, yeah, there's a reason why I've done it that size and that layout. But we won't be coming to that just yet. Okay, this room here, this one that's now bricked, it, I've just bricked it off basically. We will have a standard door in there, common room door, and we'll have this as another common room. We could have it something else, but I don't think so. I think it's uh, fine as is. So, we should have, in total now, yes, we have 49 prisoners in total. So, what I'm going to do is put a jail door there, right? And then I'm just going to put a bed and a toilet in it, yeah? Just just place them in there for, well, the only reason is because I want to get another cell, right? And then once that's designated, we'll just rip them out and fling them away. We don't need them. That's what we're going to do. Right. We have a total of 39 prisoners because one got stabbed. So I will go to our intake and we will receive one prisoner. There we are. Uh, we'll check something. We are, uh, we now have death row. Um, we don't have small cells, which is 10 grand. That means you can have small cells. I didn't really bother doing that one. Uh, permanent punishments, I do want to go for. And we've also got reduce execution liability. Which is something that is in the game for well, basically, if you if you pull it, if you turn, you know, if you flick the switch and it's found out that uh, that person was actually innocent, it's pretty much it's one of the game's fairly states actually. It's really um, it's 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 something that, as you might imagine, is quite bad. Uh, the game doesn't really want you to do it that often or or at all really. Uh, we're going to get rid of that cell and we're going to put ourselves a. Parole in there. Alright. And we need a visitor table in the back. 
Although we can't have it the actually the direction I want, but that's fine. Now I do need to put at some point in our parole rooms some guards. Currently we haven't got any guards, so we'll probably need to get that up and running. So there's the cells. There is our death row intake category. You. You are not supposed to be there. What I need to do is go to deployment, death row, all that. All that is death row. So obviously that guy is going to get shifted out and flung away. Go over there now. There we are. So, we now have death row cells, we have death row parole, and we have the room. I'm not talking about the room, the really terrible film. I'm talking about execution, and I'm talking about the electric chair, which will go right there. We will put in. Probably some benches. Do you want to put benches in? Don't think there's any want involved, but we have to put some benches in, I think. Like that. Because all of the death row things that I've seen actually have benches like that. And we will have an entrance to this probably around there, or we could just keep it where it is at the back there. So it needs to be indoors. I'm sure you have to have benches in it, or at least, you know, for flavour we're putting the benches in. Door there, door there, and then that is the long walk. All the way from here, down there, along there, and then in the back. I guess, in reality, you would have it separately, because this is where people would come in and watch witnesses and such this is where you know you would always bring the prisoner in separately don't think you can do that in the game at the moment so we're going to do it like that right i think we're going to leave it there because we now have execution we have the electric chair we are ready to start receiving death row inmates currently not available but we've only just unlocked it so we will get there at some point. Gonna leave it there. Next episode. That. Possibly. I'm putting it off. I'm putting it off. I don't really want to get into that sort of thing. But that's what the prison is about. We're going to have to uh, get there at some point. Right. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings. Hmm.